Uh, I, I know I was uh, due in here because I, I, I looked at the TV and you were already on, so I figured I, I better get in. So I, 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 if I st standing up, I, I apologize. So good afternoon, everybody. It's great to have you here and uh, uh, very much have enjoyed uh, reporting to you. We've just finished getting another uh, update from our various state agencies and utility companies. The State Emergency Operations Center has now been open since uh, 5 a.m. Um, um, and uh, 74 cities and towns have also activated their own EOCs and 21 local municipalities have Um, and and uh, you probably have your own weather reports that's going to continue on and off uh, through uh, a good portion of the uh, evening tonight. Uh, but I want to say to state employees and to others, we believe the state will be open for business uh, tomorrow as regularly scheduled. Uh, lacking uh, some uh, other emergency, uh, please plan on coming to work uh, tomorrow. The snowfall has varied across the state. Uh, ranging from a couple of inches in portions of the state to over 18 inches reported elsewhere in the state. Uh, winds are forecast, obviously, tonight to, to be continue to be uh, pretty strong, and we've seen some pretty high numbers. Um, towns in northern Connecticut may receive another one to four inches of snow uh, before the snow tapers off at, at 10 p.m. Um, I, I will say that we did lift the uh, travel ban. Uh, during the period of the travel ban, we experienced only 38 accidents. Uh, it was a, a, a big success. It also allowed us to uh, 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 clear the roads, uh, and um, they are open. Uh, we urge people to stay off the roads unless it's essential travel. Uh, but we hope uh, that by tomorrow morning, uh, things will be back to uh, a normal ride. Uh, I do want to issue a special warning tonight because we are seeing the temperatures drop rapidly and expect the temperatures to get down to the 20 degree uh, range. Uh, that means black ice uh, may in fact occur uh, uh, throughout the state uh, on the overnight. Drive slowly. Uh, leave plenty of space, leave plenty of time to get to work uh, tonight or tomorrow if that's what you're uh, traveling uh, or the travel. If you cooperate, I think we can do this uh, safely uh, and keep the roads open. Metro North service will resume at 6 p.m., but only run till 11 p.m. Uh, this evening uh, on a uh, very limited schedule. Uh, they do anticipate opening tomorrow, uh, probably with a limited or somewhat limited schedule uh, as they work to get back to normal. Uh, Amtrak will also run limited service uh, tomorrow. Uh, and with respect to uh, uh, buses, um, we anticipate uh, getting the bus service up and running tomorrow. Uh, but I urge, whether it's rail, Amtrak, or uh, bus, that you check the websites and understand uh, the conditions. And with respect to buses, understand that buses will not stop area in areas that are not uh, uh, safe for them to uh, let people off or to get on. So check uh, on the uh, websites, please. The American Red Cross has had to cancel blood, dr blood drives uh, today, and as a result is down about five, uh, 500 units of blood. Uh, those uh, that can donate in the coming days should uh, donate. You can go onto their website. You could also join me uh, in donating, as I will do that tomorrow and, uh, in an effort to encourage others to participate. Uh, I will also want to remind you, and we're almost done, that uh, uh, we have that cold weather I've previously referred to. If you're cold, if you need a place to get warm or to get uh, shelter, please call 211. Um, and we will, we will continue to provide to you further updates, uh, and you can check uh, Connecticut Gov for additional information. Uh, and with that, I'll take a few questions. I do also want to thank the Lieutenant Governor, uh, 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 our commissioners who have been with us throughout the day. Um, and with that, I'll take some questions. Can you tell us the 24 towns that have declared an emergency? Uh, Are they all in Northwestern? Uh, no, they range. They're, they're scattered. Uh, there are some cities down in uh, Fairfield County and, and the like. And, and, the, and the problem you had discussed earlier in the afternoon about the bullseye being at Danbury on 84, how does that make you uh, Well, I, I actually, we're starting now to see some heavier uh, elevations uh, in upper Lich, Litchfield County um, that didn't didn't switch over to, to rain at all. So we are going to see our high, at your highest elevations, particularly above 1,000 feet, are uh, experiencing uh, snow much in line with what had been predicted for a broader part of the state. You said throughout the day that most people adhered to the travel ban. Do you have any idea of how many people state police had to pull over? 
Uh, we had uh, about uh, uh, we had about 800 calls. We had 166 uh, uh, um, assists um, out of those calls. So some of those calls were for informational or, or others, but about 166 assists, 38 accidents. Those are numbers that that um, uh, are much less than a normal. Uh, snowfall and this was no normal snow snowfall so clearly that helped us so it'd be unrealistic to expect everyone to stay home but most people. most did yeah and, and, I, and listen it was a pretty fierce storm out there as some of us experienced when we uh, when we did it uh, 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 together so uh, uh, you know I'm very grateful that people listened and stayed off uh, stayed off the roads there there were some there were no 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 okay I, I thought I had heard that there were a couple, but apparently not too many. No. But now people listen. I, I, I think I think the, the the point is is that that we don't do this frequently. Um, you know, we did it in 2015. We did it in 2013. I think we did it in 2011. Uh, and and because we don't do it frequently, um, uh, people listen. Now that means it, it, we don't close for snow under normal conditions. This is New England. We have snow. But when a storm like the one that we experienced today comes along, you take the precaution of, uh, of telling people to stay home and stay off the roads. And I am most appreciative that people listen. Any other questions? So, Governor, basically you're saying that since 2011, we're, we're getting better at this. I think we are getting better at it. I think the utilities, uh, in, in particular, utilities have seen about 3,400, or currently have about 34 outages, uh, but Eversource has restored uh, 6,000 uh, outages during the course of the day, and that's with fairly high winds. So, you know, I think everybody has drilled, and everybody gets better, and we learn uh, from our uh, experiences of, of the past. I have been corrected. There were a few uh, tickets written out, but not, not a whole lot. Um, you had asked, and, and yeah, yeah, yeah. relatively. I, I don't, but it will, we'll get a, we'll try to get your report. But yes, N not not enough to make a no no. And and in fact, uh, the storm itself has made has now officially made a dent in the budget. So um, uh, so we'll, we'll but we'll we'll respond to other weather conditions. Will, will it be a five million dollar storm? Um, you know, it'll probably it, it you know it probably will run about a um, hundred thousand dollars an hour, and um, and we've been at it since. Well, you know, we were actually pre-treating before that, so this will be a 24-hour occurrence, so it's, it's going to run a lot of money. Okay? All right, thanks.